infected. Uh, and and if, if it is, if these are the problems, then you can set aside the rent and fix it. You can give the landlord a reasonable time to fix it. Uh, if that doesn't happen, you can move out uh, and it's a complete defense uh, to a case like this. But you've got to document it, take photographs, uh, send a letter, a, a, a registered letter or a certified letter to the landlord telling him that the heat doesn't work, the pool is illegal, they're running electric cords that are dangerous out to the street, it's roach infected, and give them a week or so to fix it. If not, uh, you can you can move out or you can set aside a couple of months of rent, not pay it, and fix it. Those are basically your remedies. Okay, so he can't he can't legally kick us out if we don't pay the rent because of well he can tr he can try and kick you out, but if you if if it's not habitable, um, then you. Well, can, I mean, our whole backyard is a safe pool right now. I mean, I took a picture no. like last week, and this pool is even going further up. No, I, I mean, mean it looks like it's about to drop in the ground. And you get a hold of the. Are I you, mean, it's bad. I mean, I've worked on buildings, building Ellicott County libraries, and police stations, and all that. So I okay. know a little bit about building codes, and this is definitely not are, one of them. Are, are you in the city of Los Angeles? Yes. I, I work for. I built the Ellicott County libraries, and police stations, fire stations. Okay. What, so, what, I mean, I've, I've dealt with uh, city uh, inspectors. I've dealt right. with the people in, at fire department. Have to deal with certain okay. aspects of the job. Get a hold. Get a hold of the city council person for the district. Have them make a call to Building and Safety. Have them be your liaison. Get a hold of Building and Safety. Let them come out there and aid you in this process. It sounds like a very dangerous situation, which you do not have to put up yeah, with. It's dangerous. It. People are worried about the whole backyard's going to fall in and they're going to get killed out here. No. Well, you need to... You know, he has no locks on doors, no fence around his pool or nothing. He's not doing anything about putting up a retaining wall or nothing on his house. Get a hold. Get a you hold. Know, he has five other houses. He claims that he's poor and he can't pay this and that. I'm sorry about that. It's a bunch of malarkey. You know? Okay. This, this is something that your city... Uh, this, this backyard is getting worse and worse every day. I look at it higher yeah, and higher right. and the pool's going higher and lower. And I mean, it's Time. Bad. Time to neighbors are worried about theirs. Eric, it's time you know, to it's Eric. It's like really low on their mm -hmm. side. Eric, it's, it's time to take control of the situation. My partner suggests you call the city council. I suggest you do that. I also suggest you call the city attorney's office. They prosecute, criminally prosecute people for doing this kind of thing to people. Do you understand what I'm saying? You got some yeah, phone? I just don't want you to kick down and be in the streets and nowhere to go. I have a bad back. I can't move all my stuff. Well, well you, you, know, you know, I, I just can't. You know, I'll end up in a hospital. I have to see well, you've got there. Eric. Eric, you've got choices. You can live with. You can live the way you are. That's okay. You can do that. You can talk to the city council person. See if you can get some assistance from the city council. That's why they have that office to help the citizens of the city of Los Angeles. And by the way, by the way, there are lots of lawsuits filed against slum landlords. And this sounds like a slum landlord, where there are, are thousands and thousands of dollars ro ro ordered for them to pay tenants for situations just like you're going through. So you can probably find a lo yeah. local lawyer in the area there who may take the case on a contingency and sue this landlord because he sounds like a rotten slum lord, and you don't have to stand for those things. Okay. All right. Yeah. You got you got your orders. Go. Right. Ahead. And by the way. We're going to give you two, yeah. uh, two free dinners at PAN's. Uh, uh, call our 800 number uh, during normal business hours. Give me your name and number, and you'll get two free dinners uh, at a restaurant of our choice, okay? All right. Thanks very much. Okay. Thank Thanks right. for calling you Legal Help Live. Thank right. you. Thanks, Eric. Thanks for calling Legal, Legal Help Live. Live. Thank you. Ralph right. and Steve right. doing right. our best to let's, this is, let's talk to Edward. Edward from West L.A., come on and talk to us. Yes, I'm right here. Can you hear me? You, we hear you okay. How, how about you? <clears throat> well, okay. Oh, I can hear you. I have, two, I have two questions. The first is that I ran through uh, one of those stoplight things on Wilshire. Do I have any recourse for that? Oh, you mean they caught you on one of the video cameras? Yeah, it's a, well, it's a stoplight. It, it, uh, yeah, I guess there's a video. It flashed a light at me. Oh. And then I got a big fat ticket for like 400 and some odd dollars. Well, 
I hope you're, I don't know whether you're married or not, but if you were, if you are married, I hope the picture that comes out in the video camera is only you in the car. And or, or you and your wife. Well, Either way is okay. Uh, you didn't have some dolly on your lap at the time this was going on, or it'll be very embarrassing. Well, as, a matter, as a matter of fact, I had two girls on my lap, but that's not <laughs> but the point. Yeah, the, you know, the, the, the camera system is in total turmoil in California and other places. Um, you've probably, probably, been, probably have been reading the newspapers about this as to some of the cameras work, some of them don't work. Uh, there are lots of defenses uh, to these camera tickets. Uh, and, there, and there are a number of lawyers, by the way, that just do um, traffic tickets uh, uh, th that just appear in traffic court. But there are lots of defenses to these tickets. You might want to get a consultation with one of these uh, driving traffic lawyers that do this stuff all the day. The camera may not have been working properly. The yellow light uh, may not have been working properly, may not have been inspected properly, may not have been certified. There are lots of things you can do, but, but it's sort of like being a doctor doing your own surgery. If you don't know what you're doing, you're not going to get out of it. So I would... Uh, I would uh, Especially with an anesthetic. Uh, there's a website called uh, Red Light Camera. Just put in Google Red Light Camera. There are a couple of great websites that take you what to do in defense of these cases, and I would do that. Um, and number well, two, I I'd, like to I'd like to follow your advice by going to an expert. How can I get in touch with you or the gentleman uh, who's talking uh, on the other side of the table? Well, the, How the, do I get in touch with either one of you to see if you could help me? Well, uh, I'll tell you what. If, if, you do, if you want to talk to us off the air, you can always do that. Anybody can any, do that at any time. Uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 1-800-405-4222. The same number that you just called. Which is on the screen, and which we'll, is, we'll try exactly. and give you some more advice on, on, the, on the phone. But, uh, uh, and, you know, sometimes the picture comes out blurry and you can't even see it's you, but you're such a good-looking, distinguished guy that it's probably going to be a good picture, and I don't think you're with another woman. So good luck. Thanks for calling us. We're running out of time. Uh, this is Legal Help Live. Yes, indeed. Uh, first show of 2011. Yeah. Uh, what happened in 2009? I was getting very comfortable <laughs> in 2009. Uh, we hope you all had a happy new year. We'll be back uh, uh, in, a, in, in a couple of weeks, uh, live and local. Their reruns are replayed all the time. You can reach us at the 800 number. You can reach us on the Legal Help Live number. We hope you have a great week. And, uh, Keep those cards, letters, and calls coming, and we'll, we'll try see. and help you out. And yeah. by the way, on the 31st of this month, uh, we're going to do a, a Legal Help Live uh, show at Pans in Westchester. Uh, not on television. Not on television. So but, don't turn on the television to watch that. You've got to show up you personally. Come, if you're going to come by, we'll try and answer some of your questions. And now it's time to go. We'll see you all later. Ralph here, Steve there. We're the Legal Help Live team. Thanks for calling at 1-800-405-4222. We'll see you all in a couple of weeks. God bless you all.